Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Some of you have asked that we would do a carving or a sample of a uh, hair braid. And hair braids have been around since biblical times, and, uh, but people still love today to dress up their hair and to put all the twists and turns to it. And some of them are very beautiful. And uh, people love doing that, especially ladies who do that. And uh, there are, you look back in history too, Vikings, they, they did a little bit of braiding of their hair. And so you may see some television shows where men have got their um, got some braiding going on, especially in these Viking type shows. But today we're going to show you here in the camera. I did a little sample for you uh, the other night, and so we're going to try to duplicate this today. But I wanted to show you first on how you can uh, do this, to kind of get an idea on paper. And Again, I just took this piece of paper here and I just basically however you know, wide you're wanting to do it, but I just kind of gave an idea here of, and then I come in here, when I get our step one, we just put two lines to represent both sides of the braid, our future braid. And then I come in here and I put a, a line, a zig line right down the middle of that. And that's our step two. And then step three, I come in and start connecting this and so this is where it kind of gets a little dicey. You're going to have to really pay attention uh, and where all these um, little in interlocking braids need to go into or the hair to create the braid. It's kind of like relief carving. But then over here on step four, I rounded, in which you notice on, on the braids of women, uh, ladies have on, on their head there, that they're, it's very rounded on the edges. And so that's something also to keep in mind and when you're laying out a braid. Now, this is a little challenging project. It's going to take some time, but it's it will really add to your um, piece uh, that you're carving, whether it's a Viking or whether it's a woman or whatever. It'll be just one extra little cherry on top of your carving. Um, and so anyway, we're going to jump off here with our board and we'll set our pattern to the side here. And you'll notice here that basically on this finished one, that we had to come in and we just basically crudely drawed in a, uh, a a sample of what how we want our hair to go you know now there's some that you can wrap around the whole head and all that but we're not going to go into that so we're going to take our our block here turn it over on its side and we're going to start just here on the corner because this will be a little quicker than coming here with a flat starting with a flat and trying to relieve it out but so we're just going to basically start here on the corner just like we would with a face anything like that there and so we're going to we you can make this as long or as short as you want and so let me get the wood removed off here and then we'll draw on our potential braid now again this is you know more for down the road if you're at a camera been carving for a while uh, this will be a, a, a good challenging project but i would say to you beginners jump off here it might be something that you really enjoy and it'll be a, something different something challenging so now we're going to get right in here we'll put this little band right here and this will be the the hair like that there all right so we're going to take about the 316th v or whatever v tool you have and we're going to follow that line and we're going to come right on over. Again, we're going to be doing some relief carving. We're going to be relieving both sides of the wood to create this braid of hair. All right, now we're going to take our knife and make a stop cut right along where we took our V-tool. This is why you, you, you've got to study even hair, how it lays on the head. And so we come in here with our knife and we are relieving. And we can, we're going to go fairly deep here because we want to be able to round the edges of the hair off. You can see there on camera we've kind of got it a little tight, a little deep already. And so I'll get right in here and make it as deep as you want. 
So the, the deeper you make the sides, the more you'll be able to, uh, I believe, to put more structure to it and more detail. Using a pulling cut, pulling it right toward us. Switch blades here, that way I can get a better, better cut there. Sometimes you need a little longer blade for certain things. Okay, so there, there we have an outline with our V-tool and with our bench knife of a lock of hair, a long piece of hair. And now we're going to come in and uh, remove our pencil marks or we can put some more pencil marks. Now as I'm carving this, I'm counting rounding it as I go. And right here is where the end, where that little rubber band would be or or a piece of leather, you know, some of the Indians, they would put leather pieces in their hair and uh, create the ponytails and whatever, the start and the finish of it. Okay, so on the piece of paper a while ago, we've got these two lines made, and uh, now we're going to come and put our little zig line, zig, li zig line in, if that's a word. Just like that there. Okay, I'll get that up here in the camera where you can see that maybe. All right, now we're just going to start joining where these little corners are, with these points, bring them together. And kind of like creating a diamond. Now some, now again, when you pull the hair very tight, the fibers of the hair are going to be you know, pretty tight in here. All right, so anyway, we're going to have fun with this. And there are some lines I'm going to get rid of because they just don't match up very good, and that's all right. All right, now I'm going to take my V-tool, and I'm going to outline everything um, that I have penciled on here. Now again, if some of you have already done this uh, project as far as putting hair on or braids that's fine this is just a way that i found it was easy for me and uh, be able to get the results that i like so you don't have to do it just exactly like i'm doing it that's what makes carving fun Okay, now you got to think about how the hair is interlocking with each one of these little sections. And so right here, I need to put a cut right there. So this one here is going to be tucked in underneath this one. Then this one here is going to be tucked in like so. You're kind of staggering things and uh, every so often. So hopefully you get the idea there. So we're going to take our knife now. And we're going to start right up here and put our stop cuts in. Now, here's something I have found out. That as you're making these cuts, especially when you get here to the tight end of the braid, where it's tucking into another hair, be careful here because these will break out. Okay? So this, this piece of hair is going to go under here. Okay? And then this one here is going to go in here. Tuck that one in here. Now again, this is adding more realism to your carving when you put in things like this here. So practice this before you actually do a piece that uh, you're going to be doing. And this will help you and give you, give you confidence. And so remember, just come in here and make these 
areas in here pretty deep. Um, that way it looks like it's being tucked underneath and coming out to the other side. Again, don't worry about if you, you know, miss one or whatever, you can come back and then you'll stop and you're going to look at it and say, oh yeah, that one here needs to be tucked in and this one here needs to be come back out. So you're going to be doing quite a bit of tweaking on this. At least it was for me and it still is. So I've not done too many braids, but I've done a few. So, but I don't uh, do it very often. But again, it's just something that someone had requested that we try to do. And uh, so we're going to give it our best shot. I ask you to do the same, just to give it your best shot. Harold Enlow was a very, very good carver. He was called the grandfather of character carving, and and uh, he's still he's still living, but he doesn't carve much anymore. And uh, he would do um, different types of hair uh, on a hair on a stick, you know, for people in his class, and uh, he would come up with some great looking pieces especially when it came to women's hair or Santa's hair all right we're continuing working our way down and again as we get closer as it gets smaller you have to be careful here that you don't break off and so all right you can see we're kind of staggering things it takes a little bit of time but it will really help make your your carving come to life and again, we have to remember hair is, has soft features to it so it's on women, so you don't want to give it a, a very stark look. Now we're going to take off the high parts of the, uh, the high planes, I call them. Tone that down. All right, then I'm going to come on the side here and get rid of these edges because, again, in, on our drawing there, the edges are rounded. And uh, so we're just taking off these sharp edges. Alright, so now we're going to move down here to where the, the band would be, or the, the leather strop, or not the strop, excuse me, I'm thinking about stropping tools, um, the rubber band would be, or whatever, uh, show the hair at the very end here. come down here now and just relieve that even more. Taking my number three here and uh, removing the surface. And 
then when you get to the sides, you need to do the same thing. Like I said, whenever you're car carving hair on, make sure you go all the way to the edge of whatever you know facial feature you're doing on your beards and mustaches. You know, make, just don't quit about midstream here. Go all the way in where you're touching almost the sides. Okay, now let's take our V tool here and let's start putting some hair in to kind of give it some life to it. Again, short strokes, and I'm going to change out here to a smaller uh, V tool here, and. That way we can get up in here. All right, now we're going to come in with a number 12 V, and it's a very small one, but um, it's it's just it's just about perfect for this. But again, whatever V tool works best for you, use it. Again, there's a lot going on here, so it's going to take a lot of a lot of carving in here. So. Making short strokes the best we can. Again, don't make those straight lines, you know, with these little curves, these hilltops on the braids here. Just make use of them. Come in and break it up. <sighs> this may be too tedious for you, I don't know, but I tell you, um, it will really help your carving, really, again, just really come to life and make it more realistic to a certain point. Same principle here, you know, if you're carving rope, you know, for something, a project, you know, study a rope. How does those, how does that rope lay? You know, which way should it lay when it comes to, you know, in a man's hand, if he's a cowboy or whatever, you know, so it's a lot, as the old Peter Engler says, a lot to think about sometimes. All right, I'm going to put it up here at the camera where you can see a little bit. You can see we're getting the hair in. And uh, anyway. Of course, this would be heading up to the side of the head, up toward the top. All right, so I'm just coming in here now and just cleaning up anywhere where the V-tool hit on its side. Okay. Come over here. Clean that up a little bit. Again, you know, you can take this and run it under some water and a little soap. Get rid of the, the dirt from our hands and the tools and whatnot. And then uh, whenever all these little little fibers they'll you let that dry and it will uh, break off and and really look really neat now here we're going to come in and just make this a little bit more distinct looks like there's a band there if we can Look it over, see if there's anything you need to tweak, you know, and there will be, always there is, there always will be. And um, so anyway, that kind of gives you an idea there of how you can do a braid on a lady and or for an Indian maiden or anything like that there. 
But again, if you're going to do it, study it, carve it, try it out before you actually put it to, you know, do this to a, a rough out or to a bandsaw cutout. Practice on a piece of scrap wood. And get the uh, routine down. All right. Well, I think that's not too bad uh, for you know a sample of how we can put braids in a hair. And um, so I hope that you'll try this and give it a shot and don't be discouraged by um, what you don't see. Just keep at it and it'll eventually come. Well, folks, thank you for joining us today and I hope that you will hit the like bell and subscribe and leave us a comment below and tell us how you got along on this. And until next time, we'll see you real soon. Happy carving.